Hello. Today we're going to talk about the baseball pitcher, Jim Abbott. Cheers, Matt Jones. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so Jim Abbott was born in 1967, but he didn't have a right hand. And so when he was like five or six, Jim was like, I want to play sports. Jim's dad, Mike, is like, you should maybe think about soccer. Soccer is a European sport with feet. You don't have to use your hands. Actually, the only rule in soccer is don't use your hands. And Jim's like, no, I'm not a European. I'm an American. I want to play baseball. His parents loved him. They were like, even though you can't do any everything, dream anything. They, he had to develop his own method to play baseball. He used to practice against the wall in his backyard. Then he would go closer and closer and closer as he got older until he was right up against the wall and catching it like that. In his first Little League game ever, he pitched a no-hitter. You pitch a nine-inning game and no one gets a hit. So then, after he had the no-hitter, years later, word got out to the high school coaches and they were like, he can throw a ball, sure. But what if someone hits a ball to him? And as soon as he said that, Jim was like, you wanna see this shit? Pitch! Someone hit a hard grounder straight at Jim Abbott. Catch! And out of glove, throw out at first base, all within like a half a second, so fast. And the high school coach was like, oh, never mind. You just answered my question. Put him on my team. I'm an ass. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wine is the devil! <laughs> okay, where are we at? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Throughout his high school career, he pushed four no-hitters, including a perfect game. So he gets his education, plays for the University of Michigan, the Wolverines. When he got there, there was so much press there. After the two bad games, People are like, ah, he sucks. This is a publicity stunt. This guy is not a real pitcher. They're just trying to be nice to a kid with a handicap and all of the press left. When, 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 Hank, come on, come in here and lay down. Once they left, he started pitching amazing. Lay down, lay down, fat banana. He was not only a good pitcher, but he was a good batter. He would hit home runs. They went over and over. He's like, I throw this 90 miles an hour. In the 80s, the, the year 1980s, not in the 80s of speedball. Oh, Jesus, I got to try that again. No, you're fine. So I'm going to throw the ball in the 80s miles per hour in the 1990s, which is... Very impressive. You switched him up. So I'm Jim Abbott. Right. I'm throwing the ball in the 90s. In the 1980s. Very impressive. Come Jim on. Abbott and Costello. Yeah, Jim Abbott. He was playing baseball <laughs> like he said he would. And, um, they were like putting together the national team and they're like, I don't know if he can do it, but it's good PR. Let's do it. They put him on the national team. He gets put on the national team, and the national team take him down to the Pan American Games, and the biggest superpower in the Pan American Games is Cuba. F Fidel Castro's Cuba, because Fidel loves communism, and he loves baseball. Those are a couple of things he loves. There is a huge separation between the American and Cuban regime. Jim Abbott walks out and starts for America. And everybody in the place is like, Boo! We are Cuban, the greatest baseball players in the world. How can you possibly think you can beat us? Americans with two hands can't beat us. like, 
Oh, this is nice that you're Cuban. I'll give a shit. His performance in the Pan American Cuba games was so remarkable that by the end of the game, 50,000 Cubans, they gave him a standing ovation when he left the field. There were no Americans in the stand because they were not allowed in Cuba. And like, Fidel Castro came down, like shook his hand and was like, nice. That was a big deal. Tell an American player nice. And he went on to play for like 10 years in the major leagues. Every step of the way, high school, college, majors, people said, can you do it? He was such a positive person. He would say stuff like, everyone has disabilities. Mine are just more visible. It makes everybody feel that they're in his camp. It's incredible. I respect that shit. Look at your limitations and say, F you limitations. I'm gonna do whatever I want. And that's the American dream. Wow. Um, what else do you wanna talk about? <laughs>